Let me show you in this video how my Sketchfab uploader plugin works. So first of all, you have to get the plugin. Um, you don't have to have SketchUp Pro, which you see here is my version. Uh, you could use this in the free make version just as much. The best way to get the plugin is really using the extension warehouse that's built right into SketchUp. So there's this button here. It's on your toolbar. Um, you can also get to it through Windows window and extension warehouse. In the warehouse, all you need to do is first log in, of course, as yourself, and then you'll search for the plugin, any which way you like, should come up right away. There it is. And then all you need to do is click install. Um, a few dialog boxes later, you have it installed and up and running right in SketchUp. The benefit of doing this here is that um, you always get update notifications. So if I update the plugin, you'll see a little symbol right here and you know it's been updated and you can, with the same process, basically update the plugin. There's another way you can get the plugin, which is right from my website. If you go to alexschreier.net, browse under projects, and then the Sketchfab um, plugin, You'll see a lot of text and pictures and images and all that kind of stuff. But then all the way down here, you'll see um, the RBZ download. So you want to do this one, version 1.8 is the latest, RBZ, download it. Once you have it downloaded, you'll go to Window and Preferences. On the Mac, Preferences is somewhere on the left here. But Windows is Window, Preferences. You look for the Extensions tab. And then you click on install an extension, you browse to the RBZ file, and you install the plugin. And it should be there right away. All right, so let's assume you have the plugin installed and everything's nice, and you have this great, you know, 3D model that you want to upload to Sketchfab. Um, all you need to do is go to File, Upload to Sketchfab, and click that button. Now, I'm going to only show you half of my dialog here because down here there's my API token which should be secret. Um, you need to get yours. So you need to get to the Sketchfab website, make an account. On that um, dashboard page you'll find the API token and you plug it right into this dialog right here. Once you do that and successfully upload a, a model, um, it will always be there for you. All right, so let's assume you've done that too. Then you'll give this a title. There we go. You can give it a description. You can put a bunch of tags in there. If you have a pro account with Sketchfab, you can check this button, which means this model is going to be private. And right below, right there, there's also a password um, option. So you can give it a password right here. There's another option under the API token, which I can't show you right now, but uh, basically in the 1.8 version allows you to um, check or uncheck whether you want to upload edges to Sketchfab. Sometimes you might not want to do that. All right, then you go all the way to the bottom, click on Submit Model, and you get a little bit of export dialog. If you have a big file, you would have seen the last few <laughs> dialogs a little longer. And then uh, Sketchfab will ask you to open this model in your browser. Now, this is for the 2014 version of Sketchup. In the 2013 version, it looks a little different. The last dialog basically doesn't go away, and there are a bunch of funny windows opening. Um, at that point, you just click the windows away, click on cancel, or dialogs actually, and you go to the Sketchfab dashboard, and your model will be there. Um, this is because the underlying stuff in Sketchup changed for 2014, and so that uh, made it a little easier now. So I can give you this option here to open the model in your browser. I'm going to say yes, because it's always nice. And then once I go here, it is opening the model in the browser. It has the embed URL right there. So this seems to be taking a little bit, but in principle, that's how the process works. So pretty straightforward. Um, make sure you get the plugin installed. And then it's really just file, upload to Sketchfab, and you're good.
All right. Enjoy.